In my childhood and youth, I read a lot. Reading was a way to escape from the difficulties of being young. The new kid on the block, the introvert, the misfit teenager from a broken family, the social outsider who came from a different background than everybody else and could never find a seat, seem to find his place in the high school ecosystem. In the course of all this reading, I learned the same thing all bookish kids do, that books, and especially novels, have the power to immerse you in a wholly different world. Novels provide an escape from daily life, and they're also an antidote to loneliness because they allow you to experience that wholly different world from inside a wholly different consciousness. Film is excellent, but in my experience, it doesn't quite provide the same level of transportation. Movies and TV shows don't last as long as novels do, for one thing. They're more superficial and less immersive. And why is that? Because the less effort you put into something, the less you get out of it. The less imagination required of a person engaging in a fictional narrative, the more passive and distanced the experience. In a way, novels give readers a kind of ownership stake in the creative process. Reading a novel takes a long time, weeks or months, or at least a number of days. We get involved with the characters. They become like good friends to us. We experience the story alongside them and even from inside their minds. We empathize with them. At times, this empathy may be so strong that we forget ourselves entirely. Our thoughts and emotions and visions become theirs for a time. Watching a film, we may get an inkling of this effect, but it's nowhere near as powerful. When we finish reading the best novels, the characters enter our consciousness permanently. They become our friends for life. In a novel, we also dwell within the setting in a way that we can't in film. If we've been reading actively, as the best fiction requires, our imaginations have been engaged in the act of creating the setting, and we're left with the sensation of having actually been there, not just of having seen it flash by beautifully on a screen. The world of a novel is absolutely unique. You and the author together have created, in effect, your own intensely vivid landscape, a landscape that in the best novels is at once deeply troubling and profoundly beautiful. The world of the story imprints itself upon your consciousness. The setting reflects and refracts the emotions of the characters through whom you've been living the story. And that's a dimension, the emotional refraction of the story world that film can't accomplish with the same degree of subtlety or power that fiction can. It's one of the many reasons that fiction is unique and that it's not going to go away anytime soon because fiction fulfills a basic human need to connect and it offers a way to experience the world not offered by any other art. If you enjoy this kind of analysis, keep an eye on my YouTube channel at TimWeed2 or go to my website, www.timweed.net. I hope you have a great day.